My name is Banco. Nice to meet you. Banco? Yes. I'm Sophia. <laughs> Sorry, that's a funny name. Yo, this dude looks like a Donkey Kong extra. <laughs> and his name is Banco. That is poetic. Where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria originally. Damn, Banco's ripped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love to work out. <laughs> Do you work out? Um, yeah. How many times a week? I'm probably not as much as you. <laughs> What's your favorite exercise in the gym? <laughs> Okay, you know what? Remember we did that episode and there was that fucking Star Wars nerd who was just like, so the TIE fighter went right into the Death Star. Yeah, yeah I remember that. This is the same, same thing. Same thing. Cardio and then... A lot of cardio? What's your favorite cardio machine? Uh, I guess just the treadmill. The uh, treadmill? Yeah. Did you incline treadmill? Oh, uh, when they... <laughs> God bless him. God bless him. He was really interested in this topic, so he's trying to connect with her on it. But my dude, this is not the way, okay? Because then you just look like a gym bro who thinks about nothing but gym life. Just That's why I always tell people, if you got a skill or a talent, like, just don't make it your whole personality. You know, it's kind of like that guy who had to riz women up, and he's like, I can sing, and just starts doing R&B in front of the girls for the first time yes. when he meets them. You said that you would, like, sing to women in public? Yeah, yeah. that's that yeah. way, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's true, first yeah. place, because yeah, I I'm not, would not I can't want to do that. that. No, nah, that's gimmicky and corny. What? You gotta be some fucking, you sing to women in public? That's gimmicky as fuck. It's like saying, I can dance. I don't be like, uh, I, if, if, if I, every time I be out here in public, just be like, yo, let's salsa dance? That's gimmicky. And that's funny. You know what it's like? I knew one guy, he owned a bar. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Every time this nigga approached a woman, he's like, I have a bar. It worked, but that shit is a crutch, meaning you always got to lean on the same thing uh -huh. to get it in. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Emily. Emily? Yeah, we're kind of matching. It's kind of a vibe. Kind of. <laughs> I kind of like to sing a lot. Nigga! What I tell you, that's a crutch. What I tell you. Girl, I want to know your name. Okay. One hour later. Fourth. It was red shirt. I'm ready. <laughs> I respect the singing, but if a guy were to come up to me and start singing, probably not. That shit kind of corny. And then the only thing that you can respond is by singing. That's right. So what's your name? Ooh. -hoo. <laughs> like, that makes no sense, right? right? This was like the kind of dude, if I told him to flex for a woman, he immediately would. You know what I mean? Just like a monkey on demand. He wasn't asking, he did. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's like, I know what my strengths are, but it's just like, if you lead too much with that, you just look like you're one dimensional loser. That's what it looks like. They tell me to. <laughs> what are your favorite? What's your favorite? Right now. I'm so sorry. Why'd you reject me? I think maybe you work out too much for me. Yeah, I think you don't work out enough. <laughs> Fair. No, no, no. You know what? You my know guy, what? Guy, you know what? Guy, you know guy. what? Yeah. It's equal. You work out too much. You work out not enough. It's the same thing. <laughs> I like how she went. You work out too much, and he went. You don't work out enough, and she went. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Yeah. You can rebut me with what I said to you. Me personally, if somebody says they're not interested in me, because I'm like, I'm like, cool, not a problem. Best of luck to you. But I can appreciate a good petty moment. This was petty, and I like it. It's only petty because of the social construct of it. Why is that? What do you mean? Because it's not well accepted to say to someone that they don't work out enough. You can't say that to someone. That's fat phobic. So we reacted to that, but essentially it's the same thing. It's just the opposite on the spectrum. You work out too much, you work out not enough. It's not the same thing. That's the equivalent of me saying you're too rich and then you go, you're too poor. The two do not mean the same thing or have the same remote implications. It does to me. Yeah, <laughs> you know it doesn't. Oh, hey, hey, you're too good looking. Well, you're too ugly. You honestly think those two are the same? No, but it's on the spectrum of the things, it, it, it kind of is. But it's not. It's not. You're right. It's well, not. Be, be. Some would be like, hey, you're, you're too handsome. Huh? You're too ugly. Woo! That is not the same thing. One hurts way more than the other. Yeah. My name's Ken. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Sophia. That's my daughter's name. Oh, a daughter? Mm hmm. She's four. She's about to be five this February. Is that a deal breaker? Uh, <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this motherfucker was about to throw hands. Is that a deal breaker? Yeah, we, gonna, yeah, we, do you want? Do you want? What you want to talk shit about my daughter? Yeah, you don't want my kids too. I will put a baby in you too. <laughs> Get a baby by me, baby. Be a broke bitch. <laughs> 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 but just judging by your face, you might be a broke bitch, but. You can find Allah, mashallah. Look at my breed right there. That, that is a Muslim brother. What's his name, Hamza? What's this guy's name? It's gotta be like Hamza or something. My name's Ken, how are you doing? Ken. Hey, listen, listen, listen. 
<laughs> yeah, listen, <laughs> Kenneth Abdullah. Okay. Is that a deal breaker? Uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I don't think so. I guess not. Sophia has had Botox. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, it didn't light up red, but I would have got out of here. Like, oh. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> I, did you, oh, did you really, really get Botox? I have gotten a little Botox. Where at? This right here. Oh, that might be crazy. That's a deal breaker? I'm on natural, baby. Bye. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I'll probably get more Botox, so. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go then. That's good. You can bring a new girl on if you want. It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna go grab someone else. Bring him in. <laughs> Ooh, I think that hurt her. I think that hurt yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went, went. Even though, even yeah. though she rejected him, he rejected her. Yes. Cause he said, "Y'all, we got, we gotta get right up out of here." Nah, it's not red though. I would have. He was a little bit too transparent yeah. with his yeah, intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he lost. But I ain't mad at the honesty. But I think she got hurt by that. Definitely. Because you have to imagine, <clears throat> if you're insecure enough to want to get the Botox being made fun of or rejected because you got the Botox got a doubly hurt to something. It's not even... Because you think you <clears throat> fixed it and everybody's like, you know, you're revolting for that it, decision. It's not even that. It's that for something as little as like a bump or a crease here, that's something that you saw. It's not something that everybody was telling you or it's like a big flaw or some shit like that. Like your eyes are not the same or your eyes are crooked, you know what I mean? It's just some little thing that that's what your insecurity... Or someone just made fun of it once and it stayed with you for the rest of your day. Yeah. And now, like you said, you fixed that. And I'm still going to be like, mm, nah, that's a no. Just because of you fixed what you thought was a flaw, it means you're, ne you're never going to be what you think is going to be the perfect thing. And yeah. on top of that, you said that you, yeah, it hurt. It definitely. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? What's your name? Uh, my name's Aisha. What do you do for work? Business teacher at a high school. And then I coach on the side. So what do you coach? Volleyball and basketball. Oh, I did volleyball all through. Okay, I'm going to say this. And I say this with the most amount of humility. Go ahead. As someone with fucked up eyebrows. <laughs> you do have fucked up eyebrows. Carry on. <laughs> Your whole shit is fucked up, man. What the fuck is this? That is not an eyebrow. That is an eye train. That shit kept going off to the edge of her eyes. Yo, what is that? Usually, if we talk about proportion, your eyebrow should finish about like the end of your eye. That shit is extended. That's the sequel right there. <laughs> that's a trilogy. That's a trilogy. Matrix Reloaded. That's the, that's, that, that, no, that's not Matrix Reloaded. That's the Lord of the Rings. Hey. I'm doing it. Really? And the kids know, which is cool. Oh, yeah, we but, you know, we, we won some games. Look at you. Good times, so, yeah. Good job. I don't know what, that, what they do. I'm sorry. Were you hitting it? No, I don't know. Oh, you can hit it. I'm sorry. I'm out of here. It's nice meeting you, Kyle. How you doing? How you I'm doing? doing good. Doing how the other guys do. Um, he was really sweet and stuff. He's really sweet. Just not my type, but it's okay. That's not your type. Do you get? <laughs> <laughs> he needs the voice. Yeah. He's not your type. Yeah. So how you doing? He's not your type. Yeah. So he was really sweet. Yeah, he was really sweet. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right. So, so I'm trying my best. How? Because I'm a short king. Does that? Does that? So I need work. to make sure my voice is perfect. So so. Yeah. Yeah, girl. How Are you, you doing? good? I'm good. You good? Is your man? On the floor, oh, if he yeah. ain't, let, let me, me know. know. Hey, I'm just saying, Chris Breezy might have made the track, but I wrote it first. I think you're nice vibes from him. I feel like I get nice vibes, but I'm sure that you have like a wild side. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, like I do got a wild side, but you just really got to get get to know me. I don't let that out to everybody. Oh, interesting. Do you have a wild side? I would say I am fully myself all the time, and that's a lot. <laughs> How tall are you? Me? I'm 5'4". Who did it first? Yo, she didn't have to put so much. She slam dunked the button. She uh, didn't press the button. She beat up the button. She didn't have to fucking tank the button. She didn't just kank it. You know what she went? Yeah, no, no, it was. Mm, no, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She. Didn't, she, didn't, she that's what she did. She did. She did. She did. She did this. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah. <laughs> that's what. That's what it was. Dude, was five four. Yeah, as tall as a mosquito. <laughs> Hi. Oh. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What was your name? My name's Asia. Asia? Nice to meet you. Mecca. Yeah. Mecca. Nice to meet you, Mecca. I like your outfit. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. 
I have a question. Do you find each other attractive? I would say yes. Oh, thanks. And you have a really nice face. I and you have cool hair. It. Okay, I appreciate that. Let's practice something. Hold each other's hands. Hold each other's hands? All right. Your hands feel kind of coarse. What do, you, what do you do for work? I work with my family's business. Uh, it's a construction services business. Oh, that's why. Yeah, so I do like a lot of manual labor and whatnot. Even when they're like moisturized, they're still like very like rough. There was lotion in the bag. There was, I, hey, like, I have some native lotion. Do you want to go grab him some lotion? Like, like massage his hands? Sure. Oh God. <laughs> like massage his dick. Ooh. That button do not bad right now. The, the button is a whole ass instigator. That's what yeah, the fuck it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what percent is that? <laughs> Candy cane? It came out. Say less. We're like getting in there. That's cool. Nice. Okay. That? that was good. That was good. Look, my hands look better already. There you go. I'm going to light up one more time. Mm -hmm. And if you don't press me, you win the button. And you get to go on a second date and get to know each other a little bit more. Sounds good. Are you sure we're feeling it? That's up to you. I'm positive, you know. I'm comfortable where I stand. Um, this is exciting. All right, so will you go on a second date with me? I will go on a second date with you. Say less. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, you that was kind of fun. You know what? They might be going on a date, but my homie back when, the teacher is definitely the winner. Xavier? Yo, he's the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's the winner of this whole fucking show. Shout outs to him. And Bonko, I never want to see you again. I'm playing. Bunko, you keep doing your thing. And cool. if you see me in person, be nice. Who's Bunko? Donkey Kong's double, stunt double. <laughs> Bunko, yeah, I forgot about that. That's a bad. dope name. Bunko's a dope name. It's just that when your name matches your profession, it's kind of crazy. Do you know what I mean? If you're an arsonist and your name's flame, like, I'm going to have a laugh. <laughs> Can I not have a laugh? I'm going to laugh. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, anything else you want to say about this? No, I'm good. All right, let us know what you guys think of it.